Good morning, Houston of FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm at Coverings in Orlando, and I'm with Mark Shannon, the Executive Vice President of Sales with Crossville. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing great, Kemp. Great to see you, as usual. It's great to see you, but I am a little bittersweet sad here because you've announced your retirement, and you're leaving Crossville after how many years? Uh, I've been at Crossville 35 years since before we built the first kiln, so it's been quite a ride going to miss you in the business. You brought a lot of Italian flair and personality to Crossville. When is your last day at Crossville? My last day at Crossville will be uh, December 31 of this year, but we've uh, got my replacement online and uh, he'll be taking over on October 1 and I'll just be mentoring and coaching him until the end of the year. Uh That's Larry Browder who was with Carndine, right? Yes, that's Larry from Carndine and uh, he's been with us for 18 months and he's been heading up our uh, Crossville Studios division, so We've already got a lot of experience with the organization, and he knows both teams really well. Just a little bit more on the history. You actually were one of Sven's first hires, right? Yes. I was one of the very first hires. I was probably, my employee number is 11. Uh, The only people that were ahead of me were people in the factory and administration. So I was the first salesperson that they hired, and I started as a regional manager and then just continued to stick around until I became uh, EVP of sales. I should say Sven, Sven Hoffman, he, he was the guy that had the idea to start, and you were the first porcelain plant here built in the United States. So, you know, how's business? Business has been holding steady. We are a little bit better than we were in 2019. We're significantly better in 220. On the studio side of our business, our residential business is doing very, very well. Our dealer business is growing steadily. And on the uh, independent distribution side, our specifications are on the increase, and we're very, very busy producing tiles. So we are... Uh, in a happy spot right now. To those people that don't know, Crossville is one of those unique companies in the tile porcelain market because you're 80% commercial, 20% residential, and that's usually a brilliant strategy except when you have a situation that slows down the commercial market. So you've certainly been impacted. Are you ahead of 19? Yes, we're running ahead of 19. It was tuck and go in the first uh, quarter of the year, but uh, in the second quarter, we've been able to uh, break out a little bit ahead, and we're anticipating more growth in in Q3 and Q4. In the segments you serve, I know one of your big segments is QSR, Quick Service Restaurants. What are a couple of the other segments you serve? Hospitality, QSR, education, automotive, and healthcare. What are some of the initiatives that you guys are doing now to grow your business? Well, we've added several new members to our national account team to concentrate on hospitality. We've segmentized that business into segment leaders for each one of those categories that I just mentioned, and they're building strategies to work with our teams in the field to capture and develop that type of business on national account side. Also, thinking about Crossville, I mean, you have a factory in Crossville, Tennessee. You produce for the domestic market. And you also have these company-owned showrooms. Uh, How many of those do you have now? Uh, We have 30 of our own uh, showrooms, two central distribution centers to support those showrooms and our independent channel. That's a very important part of our business because those businesses allow us to control the destiny and the markets that we're in. And we do uh, sell a lot of product other than what we produce in our factories there as well. So that gives us a nice balance, which has helped us on the residential side. Actually, it gives you visibility to what's going on with all your competitors because you also sell your competitors' products in these stores, right? I know. That's always driven me a little bit crazy because when the checks come across the decks to sign, I'm like, no way. Why didn't we sell Crossville? But in this particular case, it works for us, and we have tremendous relationships with the vendors that we support that are competitors in other situations. So it works. Okay, so we're at Coverings, as I mentioned. I guess we'll have to wait and see, which is the beginning of the show, to see how good the show is, right? I think so. We've seen a bunch of traffic. I did pull all of our independent distributors prior to coming to find out who was going to come, and several are not coming. Uh, The ones that have come have sent a reduced staff, but every one of them has reached out for a meeting, so we're going to be very busy with some of the key people. We also have all the trade associations, which is really important for us to support those two, the NTCA, the TCNA, the TCAA, and CTEF, and a number of other organizations that are here, and it's really great to see these people face-to-face. Thanks for saying all that, because, you know, I feel like I have to have a decoder ring to ever come to the tile market because of all that alphabet soup. But yes. uh, all of those, you have uh, the contractor folks and the distributor folks, folks. And, right. and then you have the actual trade association for North America that, you, that, that are all helping to grow the business here. 
Let's go back to your retirement for a minute. So December comes and you're walking away. What are you going to do next? You live in Knoxville. What's your next play? Uh, my next play is uh, multifaceted. I'm about four weeks away from my dual citizenship and an Italian passport because my family, my grandparents are from Luca, and that's been high on my list. I will be staying on at Crossville and on a part-time basis to manage all the training and education programs and the leadership programs through our distribution channel and our, our company-owned channel. And I'll be supporting all the trade organizations that I'm involved with now and continuing my leadership on those organizations. Well, just an inside joke, you know, Sven worked forever after we retired. Are you going to work here forever after you retire? Uh, no, Kemp. I am not working forever. I'm going to be down in Chattanooga bugging you to go boating. And other than that, uh, you'll find me in some mountain stream fly fishing. So dual citizenship, does that mean you're going to move to Italy eventually? My wife won't let me move to Italy permanently, but I plan on spending two to three months a year there every year, two months in the spring and one month in the fall. All right, Marsh, great to catch up with you. I hope you have a great retirement. Again, talking to Mark Shannon, Executive Vice President of Sales with Crossville, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloridaAlley.net.